Welcome back to Dawn of the Zeds 3rd Edition. This is it. This is our conclusion. We're playing the basic game. We have a couple of Zeds here kind of on the doorstep. Well, let's get into our events. We have three event cards remaining. If we can hold out, we could possibly win the game. And we get brains. <laughs> oh, yay. Conduct the special turn only. We're not playing cooperatively, so don't do that. So not, not using infection. All tracks activate with each Zed's unit advancing one space only. However, if a Zed's activation results in a combat that they win, it immediately advances again. Ay, ay, ay. After all, Zed units uh, take their turn. Draw the next event card. Oh, good lord. Okay. Um, some. Let's. I guess let's. We'll end off on the. Uh, suburban track because there will be hand-to-hand -hand combat. Let's start up on the forest track. And up on the forest track there this mob is looking for brains but they're not finding any and these guys are moving here. All right no combat. Whew. Over we go to the mountain track. Similar activities up on the mountain track. This huge horde swarms over the campground but there are no brains to be found because we've retreated our veteran unit thankfully. All right down to the highway track. All right, the highway track, we also have a huge mob on its way. It gets into the nuclear plant, but again, didn't encounter any brains. All right, over to the suburban track. We will be having a hand-to-hand -hand combat going on. And I just realized that if uh, we're going to have our sheriff fighting these guys, they are on even keel. It's five versus five, and we get a double shift for humans. So we're two times shifts for humans. We need... A pretty good roll I hope because we have to repel these guys otherwise they're just gonna walk their way into town center and we lose the game all right we get a oh, we get a six a six on the two times human advantage table and that's going to be human advantage two times we roll a six they take two damage the uh, sheriff takes one but they have to retreat and taking two damage will flip them over because they're already damaged once they go oh wow they go down to a four <laughs> jeez that's not very good and our depth our sheriff here might be in trouble but he is also tough uh every hit out of four five six cancel the hit come on cancel the hit Please, four, five, six, no, oh my god, and that drops him to a three, ouch, wow, we have a lot of damaged uh, heroes now, mm, that is bad, all right, we're zooming the camera out, and we're on to the next event, oh my god, two event cards to go, <sighs> we have, keep calm and kill Zeds, um, all right, we're, we're just into the movement. I'm not going to jump ahead and do that yet. All right, we have mountain track and we have highway track. I think that's not bad. All right, starting on the mountain track, we have this horde moving down here, but they are uh, they are still away, and our heroic uh, veterans can bounce them. It doesn't matter what they roll. So I think we're okay on the mountain track. Oh, well we have the highway track next. Oh, we can see it right here. The highway track, these guys are moving there. Oh dear. Um, yeah, and then we're right into actions. We get two actions, and we're gonna have to read the rest of this card. All right, two actions, reading the rest of this card. And we have, at the beginning of this phase, select one hero unit and play. It receives a two shift when attacking in hand-to-hand -hand combat for this turn only. Uh, oh, who do we want to give that to? I guess we'll give it to the sheriff. Uh, wow, I don't like this ten unit outside of here. We might need... Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Ah, got to think about it. We're going to give the sheriff the two shift... We might want to send them kamikaze in somewhere, or is that just suicidal? I don't know. Let me think about this. All right, let's get all of our scavenging out of the way first. We're going to use the leadership ability from our sheriff to tell these guys to scavenge for ammunition on a five or six because of the mayor's special ability as I knock everything everywhere. That's not good, is it? That does not portend well. Um, then they will get an ammo. A five! They get an ammo. We're up to four. That's awesome. We're also going to use Deputy Dog Schmidt to do the same thing. Five or six gets an ammo. 
He doesn't. He rolls his two. I don't know how many times he's rolled a two in this playthrough for ammo. I think just about every single time. And that's his uh, action spent. And now we have a Citadel action, which we're going to spend for Piazza to shoot. Oh my god. Piazza's going to shoot at these guys up here. And she is on a four because they're two away. So she's going to be on the five gunfire table. Let's get a nice high roll, Piazza, please. For once, a ten. Yes. A ten on the five gunfire table is going to be three hits. Yes, indeed. Three hits to one of these guys. Let's zoom in and smack one of them down. And of course, that costs an ammunition, so four ammunition down to three. And we're going to take the six and we're going to knock them over. All right, so that knocks them down to a seven, <laughs> which is whew, still pretty darn nasty. Okay, that's used up everyone's special actions. And now it's time to, we got three ammunition left. Ah, what do we want to do with three ammunition? We got three ammunition. We basically have two regular actions and a player action. We could shoot three times, use up all of our bullets. Remembering the sheriff has a plus two shift. He could go down here and try and take on the Zeds coming up the suburban track. Ay yeah, yeah, let me think about it. Oh, all right, we're gonna we're gonna send the sheriff in. It might be completely suicidal, but we're gonna do it. He's gonna go, he can have a movement speed of uh, four, he's going to go free move in here because of the mayor's ability. One, so one, two. He's going right in here with the seven strength mob. Yeah. <laughs> so they are two times his strength, but he gets a two shift. So it's even keel. So we're on the nobody gets an advantage and the sheriff. This might be the end of the sheriff, but we're going to, we're going to give it a go. Come on, nice high number. And he gets a 10. He gets a 10. On the even, I think that might be pretty good. Oh, I hope so. Equal two rolls a 10. He does three hits to the Z units and takes one hit himself. Yes. So we can annihilate this one completely or we can flip this one over. Um, I think we're gonna annihilate this one completely. So the sheriff goes in there and wipes out one of the Z units. He's tough on a four, five, six. Uh, and they have to, re did they have to retreat? God, I was so excited looking at equal to 10. Yes, they have to retreat. Um, but he takes a hit. So unfortunately, this guy's going to retreat back here. <laughs> so it's a 10. But he's knocked them out of there. Four, five, and six, and the sheriff is still kicking. The sheriff is still kicking. So he's still there. Oh my God. Whoa. Whoa. Just about knocked the camera over. So excited. <laughs> anyway, we survived. So that was an action. I don't know why I didn't use the action. We have a player action and we have a, we have a player action. We have a regular action. For our regular action, we're going to have Piazza shoot it. Should we have him? Yeah, well, um, that I don't need to worry about. This, you know what? For our regular action, we're going to back these guys up. Do we need to back them up? What's it going to do with them? No, nah, we'll leave them there. We'll leave them there. Hang on, i got to think about this. we got one action remaining, one player action remaining. All right, the sheriff did such a great job. We're going to use another action, and we're going to actually move him back here to the mall district. Why not? And for our final, for our player action, we're going to go ahead and have Mr. Johnson look for some ammo. Do we need ammo, or do we need to shoot at something? We have three ammunition. Um... Our final player action, let's just have our veterans shoot at the mob here. We might as well do that. Can we, yeah, we can see that there. Because they get, they don't have to spend an ammunition for the first. They have to spend the action, but not ammunition. They're on a three. They roll a nine. That's actually not bad. Uh, three gunfire, they roll a nine. That's two hits. We might as well give the two hits to the seven unit. And that's going to be the end of our actions. And we survived another event card. Yes, indeed. Alrighty, which means this is it. I'm gonna zoom out, we're gonna have our last event. I think it's the end event. All right, this is it. This is the end event. If we can keep the Zeds out of town center, we'll win. Let's see what we get. We get once and for all, good night. A blue end card, we ignore that. We're just gonna to have to move everything on the track. Then we get no actions at the beginning of the phase. You have won. Yes. So we have to survive this. 
So we have the suburb track right here, <laughs> moving once. Well, let's get to it. All right, suburb track moving once. The four moves in here with the three. Uh, they get a double shift, so they have advantage. Double shift is human advantage. So we have a human advantage there. Let's get rolling. And a seven on human advantage. And I think that might be a pretty good roll. All right, human advantage, seven. They, the zombies take two hits, then take two hits, and this unit takes one. So these guys take two hits and have to retreat. Yes, we have, we have staved off a defeat there. These guys take one, one hit, and they're still kicking. They take two to flip over. Good job, civilian unit. Next track is the mountain track. Okay, this will be a little bit uglier. We have a 12 coming into a 3. They are three times advantage, but with a double shift. It's Zed's advantage, but let's not forget, we have our veterans. This unit ignores retreats, forcing Zed's to retreat instead. All right, so it's Zed's advantage, and you can't see that, so I have to put this over here, like so. Come on, it's Zed's advantage, a nice high rock. Ah, 10, our veterans are awesome. So Zed's advantage, we roll a 10. Okay, Zed's advantage, we roll a 10. Wow, the Zed's take two hits and retreat. <laughs> and our veterans take one hit. So these guys take two hits. We'll flip this over uh, and give these guys a hit. And they have to retreat. Our veterans have, def have sent them back. And these guys should have moved up here, which means this four would bounce back there. All righty. So the, these guys take a hit, though. It's going to flip them over, but they're still on a two strength. Our veterans survive, and they hold off every, anything happening on the mountain track. All right, over to the highway. Two movements on the highway track. All right, this horde has made its way pretty far. They're going to encounter these guys three times Z advantage. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do here. Come on, a 12. <laughs> Five. Oh lordy. Five. Five. Eight. Oh, they take four hits. All right, these guys are absolutely crushed by that horde of zombies. Do they go back to town center? They certainly do. They go back on their weakened side, right into town center. They retreat, but these guys get a second movement. In here now, they are three times advantage. However, they get a double shift, so it's going to just be Zed's advantage. And that'll be it. Zed's advantage, and we rolled an 8. That might not be terrible. Zed's advantage, rolling an 8. Wow, the Zeds have to retreat! So cool. They both take two hits, though. So these guys take two hits, have to retreat. Put it on the 8, obviously. These guys take two hits, and they're either going to the graveyard, <laughs> <laughs> as heroes, or they go back to town center, and we can't see that. So, all right, four, five, six, no, they go to the graveyard. So their last stand wipes them out, but they did make the Zed's retreat. Yes, and that's the end of our card. That's the end of our card. Zoom out and wrap up our game. Alrighty, that's going to wrap up our game. Yes, I think we have just done it. We're into this phase. At the beginning of this phase, well, uh, Cooperative pay. You have won! Wow, <laughs> we've won! The melancholy mood left in the wake of your brute survival leaves quite quiet questions still unanswered. Interrupting your reflections comes a ray of sun bursting through the clouds and shining on a small, untrampled patch of flowers. There we are. We won! We got through this entire mountain of event cards and we kept all of the Z units out of town center. Man, we got a beating though. <laughs> we had some pretty good luck early in the uh, in the game. Some pretty rotten luck. At the end of the game, we lost four civilian units to the uh, graveyard. Our veterans, yeah, they were just smoking hot. And our last stand in downtown from those civilian units that went to the graveyard, also excellent job repelling the zombies, the Zeds. And all of our heroes, we got three of them damaged. Yeah, we got Got pretty tough and this was the very basic game so next time we come back to this game we're going to ramp it up a notch i think the next level you start using supplies and the infection uh, counter which ouch is going to be 
extremely nasty. So thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, and likes. This was Dawn of the Zed's third edition basic game. Using all the blue cards, and we survived. Wow, that was close. I didn't know if we were going to. We had those big mobs coming down the track, but we held out just long enough to win the game. So thanks so much, and we'll see you next time for another playthrough series. Not sure what it's going to be, but we'll find out soon enough. Thanks so much, and see you next time.